as kids, many of us might have looked at PE as a time to step away from the books and take a break from learning when in reality we were trading one classroom for another. I loved it. I love Kickball, PE too. basketball, are you kidding me? PE Dodge teachers. Ball. Yeah, help demonstrate. Dodgeball was a big <laughs> one. Yes, PE teachers helped demonstrate the importance of living a healthy, active lifestyle. Our Mariah Wiggs shows us this is one lesson that doesn't always require pen and paper. Volleyball, basketball, hula hoop. These elementary schoolers are all demonstrating a core lesson. The earlier you start incorporating movement every day, the easier it is to keep it up throughout your life. As kids, we may not think about the influence physical education has on our lives long term. At its core, PE is a curriculum designed to help students develop skills, knowledge, and behaviors for active living, physical fitness, self-efficiency, and emotional intelligence. And these kids being in kindergarten all the way to fifth grade, so I have little five-year-olds in here, the more that they love to move their body, the more likely they are to do it every day for the rest of their life. So that's what I'm trying to teach them. Under the Alabama Department of Education, all public and private schools must carry out a system of physical education. For grades K through five, this means a minimum of 30 minutes of uninterrupted physical activity and 50 minutes for grades six through eight. This time blends fun with fitness to help kids understand how daily dedication to being active can cultivate a healthy body. And it sounds like they're taking notes. I learned about staying healthy, gives you protein, muscle, and other things. You could play around a lot and do a bunch of things, have a lot of energy. And that energy is transferred to the classroom. According to the CDC, physical activity has positive impacts on attitudes, cognitive skills, and academics, which are all important when improving academic outcomes. Once you finish your lap, you in Alabama, PE teachers must study subjects like kinesiology, anatomy, and team sports. But how do they relay these topics to students and, more importantly, keep them engaged while learning? I always say that success plus enjoyment equals continued participation. So if they're having fun, they're going to continue to do that. I spoke with professors Natasha Satcher Bell and Gunnar Kazers with the University of West Alabama. Their job is to make sure that PE teachers are well versed in the building blocks of health and wellness to effectively incorporate that information in their lesson plans. When we develop our teachers. I think we develop them with um, a range of teaching tools and, and different teaching styles and different teaching methods that they can use. Whether through technology. Madison City just graced us with this Lou system. We can do different games that incorporate uh, fruits and vegetables on there that we can talk about. Or a friendly game of tag. Physical education can be fun and inspiring. A wellness lesson that lives on in the quality of life as a student and future adult. In Madison County, Mariah Wiggs, News 19. In Alabama, high school students must, must take at least one credit of physical education to graduate.